2009, I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. No one in my family has cancer. I'm like, you must have messed things up. However, I'm the one who found the lump, so I'm like, okay, I get it. Lumpectomy, 11 lymph nodes removed, recovered from surgery, at two days after Christmas, six months of weekly chemo, then eight weeks of daily radiation. And I'm, I mean, I'm at my lowest, but yet my highest, because I'm like, oh, I'm finally done with treatment. Yes, I get to go, I get to live again. Here we go, I'm gonna live. What gives me joy? Like, what have I been missing? What was I not doing for me, for joy? And I'm like, I miss dance. I miss dance, I miss movement, I miss that feeling inside of nothing else matters, but here I am, let's do this. And this is the God moment when you're driving down the street and I see this big sign and I'm like, why not, why not? I found that as I was continuing class, I was not leaving right after. And this is, you know, again, the no, not a group fitness girl whatsoever. And I'm like, I don't really wanna go yet. I kinda of wanna hang out with these girls a little bit more. And I started to feel the connection with them. I don't have family that lives close to me, but I have my girls. I just adore them and they mean the world to me and you guys know some of you know I was re-diagnosed with breast cancer in 20, 2019 the end of 2019 I found the lump again I'm like you've got to be kidding me same spot same spot and I'm like here we go and I was scared because I'm this time I'm not married and I'm like oh okay I'm I gotta do this and this time it was double mastectomy and it was surgeries after that. It was, thank goodness, no more radiation, but four months of chemo again, and I'm like, okay. And the family that opened up in front of me, I never would have made it through it this time without this. decided to stay after a group fitness class. Instead of being one of those women that's competitive and in that kind of zone, I learned from them every day, you guys. I learned to be a better person. I learned, I learned to ask for help. <gasps> me! <laughs> I never ask for help. And I'm learning because they look at me and they're like, what are you doing? Like, you have this amazing support. Ask for help. So... There's the opportunity, there's my joy, and then this is my family. And I just, I, I love and respect all of you. All of this is because it, it's just, it's genuine, it's authentic, and it's about women supporting women, it really is. It's not about looking cute in your spanks or anything. It's, it's community here. So, thank you, Kendall. It's Mel. Please um, channel your inner Mel. Um, be strong. Go have some fun, okay? Please, go have some fun for me. Have a couple moments. Think of me, but then put it away. That's what I'm asking. I'm asking you guys to dance for me. Just put this shit in a box. Put it on the shelf. And uh, go have fun. Like, go... Go out there and know that I'm angry that I'm not there with you guys because I freaking should be there with you guys. And um, I just need you to dance for me, okay? Just cherish oh, that you can move your bodies the way you want to, when you want to. So please, I just ask you that for me, okay? All right, I'm gonna go now. All right, love you.
Hello online. Welcome. Welcome to my class. This is my speech because, you know, everybody does this whole thing of like, new year, new you. And I don't think I agree with that because I really don't want to be new because then that means I didn't like the old me, right? And I struggle with that. So I don't want any of you to be new. So it's like, for me, my motto is new year, new choices. I got you. You got me. Let's do this. Come on, dance with me. Go. I love that line. I'm a force of nature. Powerful. Brush that shoulder off. You all have something to throw out the door. Push it. Later. See ya. We don't want to be perfect. Is that what I said? I'm going to cheat. Perfect is boring. Check yourself out. You look good. Get up, get up, get up, get up. This time, look at your mouth show. Oh, don't change anything. I love you. Don't hate me. Love me. Okay. Oh, crap, you're gonna hate me. I said it might be a little hard. I did not lie. I don't lie. I embellish every once in a while, but. Cold open. I really do love you guys. Do you like you? That one sneaks up on you. Mel said that's like a fart. It sneaks up on you. One more! Now down to the middle! Whoa! <laughs> Take it <off>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't! It's not fair! My concentration just flew! Wax your butt. That's all I got. Pull. Arm stiff. Wax your butt. I want you to find it. Remember, it starts. <laughs> what? Never. Uh, rude. Any man that says, oh, you're so emotional. Watch out. To join me in this bed. Now, somebody's been naughty. That's all I know. That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Do some people have never, at least you've never heard that song, have you? Ah. Walker. <laughs> Are you sexy? I never feel sexy. I'm like. Looking for a way out. That was wrong. I can feel it happening. It goes faster. No, you were just getting into it. I was so. That was to like put my game face on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like lolly pink pink. I wish I knew the words. It just sounds like poo poo. Jamaican girls in my party, pum pum, then my wine up the way. I'm gonna love you through it. Big tears. I love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me through this. I couldn't have done it without them or you guys. I love you all. Oh, everybody, 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 everybody,